Known for its picturesque landscapes and delicious chocolate, Switzerland is a fantastic place to visit. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the things to know before you go to Switzerland. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit. Switzerland can be visited all year round and the best time to visit depends on your preferences. The summer months from June to August offer pleasant weather, perfect for those who are looking to enjoy the outdoor activities and those who are looking to explore the cities. Winter, which is December to February here, is ideal for skiing and enjoying the fantastic winter sports available. If you want to spend time just exploring the cities of Switzerland and avoiding the crowds, then you can head here in spring or fall for milder weather and fewer visitors. So now let's look at getting there. The easiest way to get to Switzerland is via air, with major international airports in cities like Zurich and Geneva. You can find direct flights from major cities like New York, London, Dubai, Singapore or Tokyo. You can also choose to travel by train to Switzerland from the neighbouring countries, ideal for those exploring Europe. So now let's look at getting around. Switzerland is known for its sufficient, reliable transportation system. You can use the train system for long distance travel between the cities and the Swiss train system provides extensive coverage. Buses then complement the transportation options, especially in more remote areas and when you're in the cities, you can use the public transportation options like trams and buses too. If you are short on time but want to see as much of Switzerland as you can, then we do recommend renting a car and self-driving. So now let's look at the typical prices. Of course, prices will vary depending on what time of the year you visit, but you can find a dorm bed in one of the major cities for around 70 to 80 Swiss francs a night. Mid-range rooms begin at around 150 up to 250 Swiss francs, whilst more luxurious five-star options will cost you between 500 to 900 Swiss francs a night. You can find a breakfast like a croissant and coffee for around 7 Swiss francs, whilst lunches at a food court or fast food will cost you between 15 to 20. A sit-down meal will cost you between 25 to 50 depending on location, but you can definitely find cheaper options, especially in the quieter, less touristy areas. Switzerland is known for being a more expensive place in Europe compared to its neighbouring countries, but there are ways to save some money. Firstly, get yourself a Swiss travel pass. This offers unlimited travel on public transportation and also gives you free entry to many museums. Avoid eating out in restaurants as much as you can and opt for buying food from grocery stores. Take advantage of the free activities like Switzerland's natural beauty with hiking and scenic landscapes to be explored. The major cities do have budget-friendly accommodation options like hostels that you can take advantage of. Then also make sure to stick to the public transportation options as much as you can, using the buses and trains to get in between the cities rather than taking domestic flights. So now let's look at the best things to do in Switzerland. Firstly, head to the Swiss Alps. Whether you are skiing in the winter or hiking in the summer, the Alps offer a breathtaking landscape. Discover the famous Lake Geneva, but also take a boat ride on Lake Lucerne or Lake Zurich to appreciate the serene beauty. Visit the medieval Shilon Castle, then head to the vibrant cultural scene of Zurich and the UNESCO-listed Old Town of Bern. And of course, try as much chocolate and cheese as you can. Still not convinced? Watch this video to find out 10 reasons to visit Switzerland. Then to learn about how to visit Switzerland on a budget, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time and stay creative.